What's going on everybody? Welcome to a site that you haven't seen in probably a little while. This is the topic of today's video, as you probably already know from the description. I always liked the LMI intake um, ever since the car was pretty much bone stock. This was the first mod that just like really made me fall in love with the car and the supercharger and the wine and it, it just got a lot of attention. Made driving the car awesome. It was exciting. I don't know if it actually added any uh, horsepower or hurt it. Regardless, that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is this freaking shitty little shield, this rain shield. No matter how it's installed, it's always been a problem for me. Um, I did have these tanks custom hydro dipped and this did rub somehow. As you can tell, there's, there's movement even when it's like super, super tight. It's secure, but there is movement. I've gone as far as putting double-sided tape on this little lit, uh, on this little ridge part here. There's a lip that this sits on right there. I've had it on here. Uh, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you the damage that it did to the hydro dip. Then I'm going to show you what today's video pertains to, and that's stopping the movement and kind of also making this look better than it already does because I don't personally think it looks better good right now. I will say though that there's a very, 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 very good chance that this intake is not going to be playing a part in my car in the near future. I'm not going to get too much into detail with that, but if you know, you know. If you don't know, just sit back, relax. It's going to be a fun ride. So let's take this off um, and I'll show you what I mean. And then we're going to do the quick mod, put it back on, and hopefully you all approve because I saw one of my buddies. I'm going to put his Instagram channel below. His name is at B5Blue underscore 6.2. He was the one that did this. I saw it. It's a complete copycat hack job that I'm doing right now. But this is how you learn and you live through other people and you get ideas through other people. But you're getting credit, my friend. He's a great guy. His car has got so many cool things about to happen to it. Awesome, awesome, awesome dude. And um, you should definitely go check out his Instagram because it's about to be ridiculous. So let's get this video rolling, shall we? So there really isn't a ton of reason to film this, but we just go in and we take this bad boy off. As you can tell, this was very tight. It's very, very tight. And I'm gonna show you what I've done. See how this just pops? This is just a loose, messy, shitty mess. I was never a fan of the way this uh, part fit. And uh, honestly, even the way it looks, the intake's great, but this this is just not my favorite. Just not my favorite. You know, while we're out, I want to discuss a few other little things. Something I don't like about this is, if you look here, well, first of all, you can see where things are touching, rubbing, and making contact. But see these little parts here? This was always a big pain in my ass. This just pops out without any force whatsoever. You just It just comes out. It's not secure. I've had it where I lost one, couldn't find it for God only knows how long it was missing, and I had to roll around like this. And then that's just not a good look. It's really just not a good look. I don't understand the need for it. Maybe because I don't have an engineering degree, or maybe because it just doesn't make any sense. I don't know. But regardless, while we're working on this, I'm going to leave that off to the side. Now I'm going to show you, I've had this screwed down so tight that it's actually taken the finish off. I used to have double-sided tape in this location. Even on this location, you can still see some residue, some residont. This is where the line was, where I had the double-sided tape. Now, why did I do that, right? Why did I have double-sided tape? I'm gonna show you real quick. I had, like I said, this tank custom hydro dipped. But if you can see, hopefully, right here, there's a lip. And the way this is made, it was rubbing here. And here's where it just kills me, okay? It moved up and down enough to the point where it rubbed a little bit of that finish off. Now this is hydro dip. I had this sent out. Look how look at how that looks. That just looks like shit. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take like a marker or something and fix that, but regardless, that's what we're rolling with, that's what we're working with. It's not ideal. Um, I'm not super pumped about this whole situation with the shield, but as I said, my buddy had a little mod, stroke of genius, and uh, we're gonna try it out right now. So as you can see, this, that's the shield, right? 
Now, you can already tell in the picture, these are trim pieces. The reason I'm showing you this with the yellow is because I had originally ordered this to test it out before I filmed it because obviously, you know, I need to know what's going on in life. And honestly, I was super not impressed. It was uh, too thick. I, that was my fault, by the way. And I didn't realize from the picture that there was yellow. This doesn't match a damn thing. So that cannot be used. So I went back to the drawing board and I ordered two other ones because they were cheap enough. This one is a much thinner, by comparison, much thinner um, trim piece. And as is this. Not by a ton, but just enough. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to use the uh, medium sized one. This might be uh, giving us the best results. So what you're going to do, since it's not really rocket science, you're just going to take this stuff and you're just going to put it on. And we're going to just work our way around this trim. Okay. That's really all we're going to be doing here. Now I'm probably going to have to trim around this area, but there's a possibility not. I, I just don't know. We're going to see how this works. It does take a little bit of effort to put on. Not a lot. You're just going to be pushing this in because, you know, you want it to be lined up nice. It's already looking cooler. I mean, it takes a flat... Um, piece of metal and it just adds a little dimension to it I like it I think it's gonna look cool as long as it works gotta just pray it works now when we get to this end obviously we're gonna have to cut off a little bit so that's what we're gonna do now you got the right scissors it's very very easy now the way I look at it is it's better to cut it a little long then short because if you cut it too short you're gonna screw up the whole thing it's gonna look ridiculous so it seems really not bad everything's looking good I like the way it looks we're gonna see we're gonna wing it and see if we have to actually swap this as of right now I don't know we're gonna test it out now on the car worst case Worst case, if it doesn't work out the way we're hoping it will, then we have to put down this. But we're going to find out right now, guys. So, we're going to hope for the flipping best here. Um, like I said, this is a very quick mod if it works. I'm just hoping I bought the right one. It looks like it should be okay. The screw looks like it should fit. The only thing I'm worried about is it actually fitting in this hole here. And it does. It does fit. Holy smokes, it fits. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. All right, we can't... Can't forget, uh... Can't forget our two little finishing pieces. This is so much friggin' better. So we're gonna take our little... Number one. And number two. Now, as you can see, it's definitely more solid. On that side, it still dips a little bit. That's with pressure, though. But I'm moving it, and it doesn't want to budge. The screw clears. And honestly, I, I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks better instead of just a flat shield. Oh, man. My buddy's a freaking genius. I mean, I'm sure somebody might have done it, but... It didn't hit my eyeballs, so it hit my eye sockets, and I was like, oh, man, you're so smart. What a good guy. What a good guy for sharing this online. Get a different angle here. As you can see, that install literally took no time at all. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to this actual part, so you can go pick this up if you want. This is great. It's not as thick as the other one, but it, uh, it just worked out well. Now, the only problem I'm going to have is hopefully I'm able to figure out which one is which. I did order a bunch, like I said. So what I'm going to do is post this video up, have this link in the description. Hopefully, if I can figure it out, like I said, but I'm going to make sure I do. I'm going to post this video up, and that's going to be it. If you guys are with a Hellcat and you have the LMI intake, 
and you're sick of how it looks, or you just want to switch it up, I don't know. This is your uh, this is your option. If you have any suggestions, if you have any comments, as always, the comment section below is free for you to do whatever you want, as long as you're respectful. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Like I said, there are some big changes that may or may not delete this from the whole equation. So I'm not going to say too much because everything kind of hinges on the next couple weeks, but it's looking like things are going to be pretty crazy. So stick around, subscribe, and leave a like on this video. Just be supportive, and I'll support you back. I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you all.